Mama News, bringing you news all about Mama Moo. What does Mama Moo with a bald-headed artist have in common? Moonbill's TikTok revival. She's back and she's brought the ladies with her Rhythm Girls. Uh, they're dancing to Pitbull's Go Girls song. I'm not going to play it because copyright. And the next up coming news is a little bit of a spoilers to Horror Story. So just a fair warning. You can skip ahead. Three, two, one. Uh, Moonbill and Solar got 44 out of all 44 candles. They are the winner for last week's Midnight Horror Story from their Best Friend special episode. Uh, you can watch it if you Google it. I think and with subs, maybe. K-pop generation where Hwasa is in and a part of where they do like a documentary on K-pop stars. Uh, it is already actually subbed on Vicky right here. So if you wanted to watch it, you definitely can with a Vicky account. You can probably do, if you're new, you can probably do like a trial run account and just watch it and then cancel it before, you know, you get charged. Uh, just a warning, some spoilers. Uh, I'm just going to talk about what she talks about in the documentary. Maybe that'll entice you, but it's not going to be too, too, like there's a whole thread about it on Twitter. But, you know, if you want to watch it yourself, you can. Uh, there's two talking points. They, she talks about the concept of Maria and kind of explaining, like, you know, what actually goes down in the music video and the whole thematics of the things. And she also talks about her mole. She tattooed it! <laughs> it's now fake. It was disappearing. Well, I mean, it's not fake. Because she was there, it just disappeared, and so she tattooed it. Which is, like, really... <laughs> that's some... When you get some money laying around, that's when you know you get lots of money. I'm gonna tattoo my mole. My beauty mark. Uh, in the last episode of... I, I guess it's not Momo TV, but, you know, where they have a little vlog behind the scenes stuff. Huyin pointed out that she noticed Solar was pretending uh, because or she was just posing because she forgot the dance choreography to her song Make Me Happy and someone actually found uh, her forgetting that. <laughs> She's just standing there. <laughs> <laughs> yep, exact copy. What a replica. <laughs> I guess that could be our me me muse. Sorry, I should have said that earlier. Oh well. We're rolling. And uh, in that video, I don't know if you noticed, but Solar actually tossed a cap, pew, like that. And someone caught it and she actually signed it, which I thought was super, super sweet. So she was definitely planning that and the lipstick. Hwasa going back again. Me, me Hwasa is finally collabing with Jay Park. I love Jay Park so much. He is so kind and humble. <laughs> but she's finally collabing with him. Love is ugly. It's the day before Valentine's Day. So I'm guessing it's not about a love song. It's like for the singles. That's why it's a digital single. <laughs> Okay, anyways. Um, he will also be on Hwasa's show, uh, which will appear 20 minutes earlier than usual, so be careful if you're trying to watch it live, uh, that they will promote the song. Man, she's, she's collabing with all the legendaries, you know what I mean? Like, we got Psy, Epic High, Jay Park, uh, technically JYP, although it's not really a song. It's a dance collab at Mama. And she's going after all of them. Or, well, more like they're reaching out to her, actually. It's more like that, because she's too shy to reach out, you know. That's when you know. 
but that's gonna be it for all uh, mama news thanks for tuning in to the nine o'clock news that never starts at nine good night and good news